I'm Finn and today I'm painting a periton. Peritons are mythical creatures uh, that are a hybrid of a stag and a bird. They are said to have lived in Atlantis until an earthquake destroyed it and the creature escaped by flight. A periton casts the shadow of a human on it until it kills one, at which time it starts to cast its own shadow. As creepy as that may sound, I find them quite cute actually, so I try to paint one. I changed up my painting style in the last few weeks. I try to get rid of my line art and yeah, well, do a more painterly style. I'm not really familiar with this and not comfortable right now, but yeah, I'm trying. And the Periton, I think, came out quite nicely. First, I sketch out the Periton like a deer or a stag, as I said, with two wings. Sometimes you see the Periton uh, that has two bird feet on the hind legs or has his front legs uh, formed into wings, but I liked it better this way. Just a stag with two wings. For the coloration, I orientated myself uh, on a Canada goose, as you see uh, in the picture down at the right. I'm about to pull up some more references for, for the coloring under, under the wing and, and, and the top of the wing. I still do my normal uh, shadow layers with the violet tone and set it to multiply and then I think later I will do a, a light layer where I pick yellowish tone and put it over in an overlay and then I just fuzz around until it looks right. I must say I'm quite mm, I'm not patient with my with my coloring. I love the sketching process and putting colors on it, but the details and the the shadow and and fur structure and and texture and stuff like that. I I just I don't have have the 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 brain for that, I think. This one took me about two and a half hours and that's uh, about it, what I can manage on a single piece. I mean, if I keep on going and I keep on practicing, I will get faster, of course, but I don't know, I don't have fun with it so much. I did a few pieces just for myself, uh, just to try a different coloring style or let's say a painting style and those took way longer and I, I nearly got crazy. You know what I mean? So this one is a shorter one and yeah, I'm, I'm way more happy with this. 
it still lacks a little bit of uh, detail in the face, I guess, um, but I'm working on it. What I like are these little lines that suggest uh, fur. Uh, with feather textures, I'm, I'm still struggling. Yeah, here I'm cleaning up some of the outlines, uh, paint in some some more shadows, all with the with the violet uh, multiply layer, and then I get confused which leg is which. I think I fix it here now. Yeah. And that's where I start painting. Just really painting. It's when I paint, it's like I don't know, just just smearing around the the paints until until it looks good, I guess. So that's what I do here. Some light reflections, some some muscle indications, rim lighting, so you can read clearly uh, where which leg is. Here I do the, the highlights of the feathers, but you will see later I tone it down a bit. I'm not really happy with it because it's the underside of the wing and you, you wouldn't see that much detail in, in the highlights. I pull some shadows in and here I try to blend uh, the fur textures, um, the different colors, colored fur because um, if you have spotted fur and try to paint it, they are not like uh, crisp lines between them. It's always uh, a few hairs that reach into the, the lighter fur and the other way around. So a bit of smudging and blending and I don't know, scribbling, I guess. The neck I try to get some texture in of feathers. I blend the feathers into the fur so it's not so, I don't know, so abrupt I guess where the, where the wing starts. Yeah, and that's about it. It's really just fuzzing around a lot when I'm painting. Let me let me know in the comments if you like the style or not. Um, yeah. I guess thanks for watching and if you like the video, like it and you can follow me for hopefully more videos. Bye.